Hello everyone, today, I want to take you to a place that may seem simple but holds great beauty and history. It is called Hammam as Sarah, an ancient bathhouse located in the desert of Jordan. While it may not be as famous as some other historical sites, it is a reminder of how people in the past lived, relaxed, and enjoyed the simple pleasures of life. Hammam as Sarah was built during the Umayyad period, around the 8th century, by a powerful Islamic dynasty. The Umayyads were known for creating beautiful buildings, and this bathhouse is no exception. It may be small in size, but its significance is large. It was part of a larger complex, possibly connected to a nearby desert castle, and was used as a place for the rulers and their guests to rest, refresh, and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. When we think of a bathhouse today, we might imagine a place to take a quick shower or a swim, but for the Umayyads, a bathhouse was much more than that. Hammam is Sarah was a place where people could gather, relax, and take part in a tradition that was important to their culture. Bathing was seen not just as a way to clean the body, but also as a way to refresh the mind and soul. The architecture of Hammam is Sarah is simple but beautiful. It was built using local stone, and the design reflects the cleverness and skills of the builders. The bathhouse has three main rooms, one for cold baths, one for warm baths, and one for hot baths. Each room had a specific purpose, and the temperature of the water would increase as people moved from one room to the next. This design was not only practical but also created a peaceful and relaxing atmosphere. What is most impressive about Hammam is Sarah is the heating system. In the 8th century, People didn't have modern technology, but they were very smart in how they used the resources around them. The bathhouse was heated by a system of underground pipes that carried hot air from a nearby furnace. This warmed the floors and walls of the building, creating a comfortable environment for bathers. It's amazing to think that people over a thousand years ago had developed such an effective and clever way to heat the bathhouse. But Hammam is Sarah wasn't just about bathing. It was also a place where people could come together. It was a social space, where visitors could talk, relax, and enjoy each other's company. It was a place where ideas were shared, stories were told, and friendships were formed. In many ways, it was like the public spaces we enjoy today, places where people connect with one another. While the bathhouse is now in ruins, you can still see the remains of its beautiful decorations. The walls were once covered in mosaics and intricate patterns, showing the Umayyad love for art and beauty. Even in a place as simple as a bathhouse, the rulers wanted to surround themselves with beauty and elegance. This shows us that, for the Umayyads, life was about enjoying both the simple and the beautiful things, even in the middle of the desert. Hammam is Sarah also tells us something important about the connection between humans and nature. It was built in the desert, far from cities, but it used the natural resources of the land, water from underground springs and heat from wood fires, to create a space of comfort and relaxation. It reminds us that even in the harshest environments, people can find ways to live in harmony with nature. Today, when we visit Hammam as Sarah, we can still feel the peacefulness of the place. The surrounding desert is quiet, and the ruins of the bathhouse stand as a reminder of a time long ago when people came here to rest and refresh. As we walk through the ruins, we can imagine what life was like for those who used this bathhouse. We can picture the steam rising from the hot baths, the sound of water flowing, and the quiet conversations of people enjoying a moment of peace. In conclusion, Hammam is Sarah is more than just an old building in the desert. It is a symbol of history, culture, and the simple pleasures of life. It shows us that even in the middle of the desert, people can create beautiful spaces that bring joy and comfort. It reminds us that relaxation, peace, and connection with others are important parts of life, no matter what time period we live in. As we think about Hammam as Sarah today, let us take inspiration from its simplicity and its beauty, and remember the value of finding peace in our own busy lives.